Subscribe, would you? Make sure that button's gray and not red. It's holiday time. Congratulations, you made it this far. You're very late. There's not much time left to get anybody any gifts, but luckily, Amazon Prime's got like two-day shipping, so you'll probably be fine. Everything that we have on this list here, you'll be able to get very fast. Also, we're not kidding anybody here. Most of you are probably just watching this to get yourself something nice. Maybe you got a bunch of gift cards piling up. We don't judge. Around this time of year, I usually always do a Nintendo Switch gift guide, but that's gotten really stale. Almost nothing has changed over the past couple of years. So I figured this time we'd go over everything. Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and even PC. There's all different accessories in this video that you can get for any flavor of gaming guy. Ew. Or yum. This video is sponsored by Factor. Oh, I'm so fat. What are you talking about? I just don't feel my best right now. I mean, look at me. Well, why don't you just try eating a little better? Ugh, I don't have time to start eating healthy. Well, hey, idiot. Why don't you try something like Factor? I've been eating that and doing Wee Zumba for the past four years and look at me now. Holy hell. You mean I can get all that from Factor? I said Wee Zumba for the past four years. Anyway. Factor meals are ready to go in as little as two minutes in the microwave or seven minutes in a regular roll oven. Which is great because it means I don't have to think about meal time and I can start eating almost instantly. Not only does Factor offer fast, simple solutions when I'm too busy to cook, they also help me stay healthy with offerings like Protein Plus and Keto. I can stay on track for whatever cool diet trend you want to tell your friends you're on this holiday. Oh, I want to try that new diet where you only eat apple cores? Yeah, I don't think they have that one. Oh, it's great. You can have apple core smoothies, apple core broth, apple core apple core, metal core apple core. Yeah, so anyway, you can try it for yourself if you go to go.factor75.com slash yahungry60 and use code yahungry60 for a whole 60% off your first factor box. Oh, wow, that's sick. So I can order it from my phone because I don't want to get up. You should probably like do some sort of exercise or something too. Oh, what'd you do? Uh, we Fit? I said we Zumba! My God. I'm not a Wii Fit guy! Nice. We don't talk a lot about specifically games here on this channel. It's mostly like gaming tech and accessories and stuff. So if you want to get your special someone a game, there's plenty of other YouTubers who are doing gift guides on just games. But I personally think that buying someone a game is a bit of a mistake, unless you know exactly which game they want. In which case, why are you watching a gift guide? You know what they want already. I always like to recommend eShop, PlayStation, Xbox, or Steam digital gift cards. Most people are comfortable with digital purchases these days anyway, and that way they can just get whatever game they want. Most AAA games these days are around $70, so make sure you get more than that. But there's nothing wrong with doing it as a stocking stuffer. There's plenty of games that are $20 and under. Anybody will appreciate any amount of money. It's, it's money, they're gonna buy games anyway. All of these systems also have online subscription services that also have their own gift cards. So you can gift them that subscription. And if they already have that subscription, your gift will stack on top of theirs. So it will just extend their subscription. If you know somebody who has a lot of consoles, you could probably get them an HDMI switcher. They only recently started coming out with HDMI 2.1 switchers, so those will be able to unlock the full potential of your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox Series X. So if you know somebody who has one of those, or maybe even both of those, they probably don't have an HDMI 2.1 switcher yet. This will allow them to plug all of their consoles in using the ultra-fast HDMI 2.1 ports. This will give them the full bandwidth their console provides. If their TV doesn't support HDMI 2.1, this will future-proof them. This will work on their older TV and make it so that if they upgrade their TV in the future, this will work even better for that. I recently just got this Avid Graham one on Amazon. 
it auto switches. So you don't have to actually press any buttons to switch to a different input. Just turn the console on and whatever console is on, it will switch to that input. It's incredibly tiny. So I think I'm actually gonna hide it away down here. And you never have to press any buttons so you don't even have to reach for it. This one has four ports and it's about $80, which is a decent chunk for a no-name switcher. But there is a smaller one that only has two HDMI 2.1 ports. So you can plug in your PlayStation 5 and your Xbox Series X and that's about it. But that's fine because right now, those are really the only things that are gonna take advantage of that HDMI 2.1 port. And that one is only $30 or just under $30. I also like the idea of controller cases. I frequently travel with my controllers and just throwing a controller in a bag is just asking for those thumbsticks to get messed up. Plus, every time something rubs up against the buttons, it's gonna turn the controller on and that's a surefire way to drain your battery really quick. TomTalk makes these really nice hard shell cases for every console. They're around $20 each. This is a good gift if they already have a console, but also if you're buying them an extra controller. Now they'll have a way to protect it. Let's dive right into Nintendo Switch, huh? If all you care about is Nintendo Switch, I recommend watching one of those older gift guides. They're still pretty much up to date. But Nintendo Switch is pretty easy. I mean, everybody who has a Switch is gonna need a micro SD card. You can get those all the way up to one terabyte of storage. Most people don't have that much and the more the better. You can also get them a grip for the Switch. My favorite is the Satisfy Grip, and not just because they're a frequent sponsor of this channel, although it does help. Use code WOLFDEN, 5% off. Their whole shtick is that the right handle is offset so it's more comfortable to reach all of the buttons. This is a fantastic gift for someone with big hands because the Switch is not meant for us big-handed people. There's also plenty of great controllers available on the market. 8-Bit Do makes some of my favorite, and just in time for the holidays, they've released their Ultimate Controller. It's the same price as the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, but this one comes with a charging dock, and it has a much, much better D-pad, among other features you can hear all about in a 15-minute long video review that I did. I leave my dock plugged right in next to my Switch with the 2.4 gigahertz connection switched over so it's faster. It's the only way I play Pokemon because it mashes right through those menu options. I'd also like to recommend this little guy if you want something a little cheaper. This is a May Flash adapter. It's around $20 and this will allow your Nintendo Switch to be able to connect to basically any type of controller an Xbox controller, a PlayStation 4, or even 5 controller, you'll be able to play all of your Switch games with an Xbox, PlayStation 4, or 5 controller. That'll kind of blow some people's minds. It's also a great kind of cheap way to just get some extra controllers for your Switch if you have other consoles. A great gift for Xbox users or even PC players or both, maybe there's some overlap there. You can get Game Pass. That is their subscription service that comes with a ton of games and you can play it a lot of different places. You can play it on your PC, you can play it on your Xbox, you can play it on your phone too if you wanted to. And again, if you're afraid they might have it already, it stacks with their existing service. So it just extends their time. As far as accessories go, 8 Do does make controllers for the Xbox. Their famous Pro 2 that I've talked about in a lot of different videos. They have an Xbox version of that. They also have an Xbox version of the brand new Ultimate controller. Make sure it says it's for Xbox though, or else it won't work on there. The ones that work for PC don't necessarily work for Xbox. Almost every aftermarket Xbox controller has a wire because Xbox won't license out their wireless technology. Xbox also has a lot of great official designs for Xbox controllers, but I still think the best controllers you can get are the Xbox Design Lab controllers. These offer a ton of different customizable options so you can truly make your own one-of-a-kind controller. They even recently updated the Design Lab to include Elite controllers, which I think is the best controller you can get on any console, period. I have a whole video on that. The Elite controllers are a bit expensive and also the design lab takes about three to four weeks to get to you. So it's probably a little too late for that. Why, why is there 
smuts all over mine. <laughs> Regular old standard black Elite controllers come with a case and a bunch of different accessories for $180 about, if you just wanna go run to Best Buy and grab one for yourself. But they recently made the core Elite controller, which is white and doesn't come with any accessories at all, not even the case. But the benefit is that that is only $125 and it's available on Amazon right now. That one might be your best option if you want the best Xbox controller really quick. You could also just get the accessories at a later date. They sell them separately. There are also expansion cards you can get for the Xbox Series X and S. Those are little tiny dongles that are proprietary that will give you a little more storage space. And if you have the Xbox Series S, that's this little tiny white one right here, you can only download games. So that storage is gonna fill up real quick. Seagate has these official ones that are $200 for one terabyte, which sounds like a lot. There does exist a little aftermarket enclosure you can get, so you can just dump your own M.2 drive in there if you have one laying around. But if you don't have one laying around, getting one that will fit in there is kind of a lot of money. So it's a little cheaper to just get the proprietary one. Over the past year, PlayStation has come out with some pretty cool ways to accessorize your PS5. You might have noticed that this one is black. That's because they've come out with their side panels. What do they call them? The official console covers. It's basically just side panels that pop on and off. Before this, I had the cosmic red ones and a controller to match. There's also pink, purple, blue, and like a gray camo. And they make matching controllers for each. Unfortunately, I only really see them available on the PlayStation website, so it might take a while to get to you. And also, the black one is currently unavailable, which is probably the coolest one. The matching controllers are available pretty much everywhere, though. It might also be worth it to expand the storage on your PlayStation 5. The PS5 comes with 825 gigabytes of internal storage, and a lot of that is taken up by the OS. So you're not really left with much. Luckily, it's a lot easier to upgrade the storage on a PlayStation 5 than it is on an Xbox Series X. About a year ago, they released the update opening up the NVMe slot right under the side panel. You can just screw in most M.2 NVMe drives. There's a list of compatible ones on Sony's website, but if you wanna go big, you can get this ultra fast gigabyte M.2 drive. That's two terabytes. That's a lot of storage. If you want to save some money, one terabyte is probably more than enough. And this Samsung one is only $100. PlayStation doesn't really have a lot of cool controllers as much as the other consoles. That is at least not until next month when they release their version of the Elite controller called the DualSense Edge. You can like, I don't know, buy them a pre-order for it. I don't want PC people to think we forgot about them. Lately, I've been having a lot of fun accessorizing my little PC setup here. I've become a little bit of a keyboard nerd recently. I picked up this Akko Prunus, little pink keyboard thing that was about $100 when I got it a few months ago. I think Akko keyboards are great little customizable keyboards you can pick up on a budget. I just handed that one down to my girlfriend and she recapped it. She got all new keycaps for it and basically turned it into an Akko 3068S, which you can just buy just like that for 76 bucks now on Amazon, except it doesn't have that pink logo there. She put a piece of white tape over the logo. Smart. It's got most of the trappings keyboard people look for when getting into the hobby. I think these are a great gateway into custom keyboards and one of the best keyboards you can get for under $100. If you wanna go wild, I've been kind of having a lot of fun with this glorious GMMK Pro that I got recently. The only problem with this is that it's custom built. You kind of have to buy all of the parts separately and put it together yourself, which is not something that most people want to do, which is why I usually just recommend the Akko keyboards to most people. It's not hard to put it together at all. It's actually kind of fun. It's just a few extra steps. It's also almost $400 for all of the parts. Glorious does have a pre-built version though, which is a little bit cheaper, 
but it only comes in black with white keycaps, and I don't really like that very much. But if you're into that, it's certainly the easiest option and you end up with the same result and you can customize it later if you want. Finally, if you haven't gotten enough stuff for this person, we've got these two big, beautiful monitors. These are by Gigabyte. They're the M32U. They're a bit excessive at $650 each. You only really need one. But the big deal here is that they're HDMI 2.1 compatible. So they will unlock the full potential out of your next or current generation consoles, your Xbox Series 5 and PlayStation S. But that's not even my favorite thing, what I tell everybody about these things. They have a KVM in the back. It's a little button that allows you to switch between computers. So here at this desk setup, I have my MacBook, which is plugged in now, but I also have a PC that's right here under the desk. So if I press a button, it'll switch my keyboard, my mouse, and my audio interface over to that other device. So I can use the same desk for two different computers. Honestly, I never even press the button. I just turn my Mac off and turn on my PC and it just automatically switches over. It knows which one is on. If you couldn't tell, Gigabyte has been very nice to us over here. There are other HDMI 2.1 monitors, but these were the only ones that I could see that are able to switch inputs so easily. There's a bunch of different versions of this monitor. There's also a smaller 27 inch version that's only 1440p, but it goes up to 165 Hertz, which is a little more than this. And that one's only $270. So you can save a lot more money going that route. Well, I think that's more than enough stuff for your special someone, or maybe it's for you. Maybe you're your special someone. Again, we're not gonna judge. Let me tell you something. Whenever I have to spend a lot of money on like a console to make a video on or something like that. Immediately when I upload it, my mom will call me to yell at me for spending that much money. Anyway, what do you guys think about these little gift ideas that you can get your special someone who uses any of these different types of consoles? Is there anything that I left out that might be a good idea? You can leave it in the comments below. You can at me on Twitter, any and all of this other social media garbage. If you leave it in a thread or in a comment below, you can help other people. If you're not satisfied with the stuff that I said, the community will be more than happy to help you out in the comments or over on Twitter and the at replies. Also, like I said, I don't think any of the past year gift guides are out of date. There really wasn't that much that came out this year, especially for the Switch. And I don't want to repeat myself because some of you are sick of hearing it. And honestly, it's just not fun to make a video where I'm repeating the same things over and over again. So go watch those videos if you're not satisfied. Also, everything we talked about here is in Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Those help support this channel tremendously. So if you got any ideas of what you wanted to buy, that like basically gives me like a little tip. But of course, the most important things you can do to help support this channel is just subscribe right here, like I said in the beginning, or share this video with a friend, a friend you want to give some ideas to. Thank you guys very much. Have yourself a good week.